I gained a lot of strength from having a sewer mentality. How many people can make it out of the sewer alone? With no coach, no trainer, no one to guide you, no one to mentor you, just having a, a, a straight up killer mentality, having a warrior mindset. If I can come out of this fucking sewer that I'm living in in my mind, if I can overcome all these things by myself, how much strength will I gain from this? And you gain a shit ton of strength from it. And um, so that's how I looked at my life growing up. I, I stopped looking at all the bad things that life handed me. And I, I started looking more as a, the ultimate training ground for where I want to go. We want motivation to be this pure golden thing that fuels performance, but the fact of the matter is, and of course we talk about all this all the time, motivation doesn't hold up. How many motivated people do you see that don't accomplish the, their goals that they have? The world is full, full of those people. There's a ton of those people. And that's because motivation doesn't hold you up. We all know this. It's discipline that holds you up. It's discipline that gets things going and it's discipline that gets you through things. My physical gave me the self-discipline and that literally has carried me over to, I can sit down and study what may take some people an hour to study. I can I have to sit down for maybe 10 hours to learn the same fucking shit. And that's very frustrating. So I always <laughs> talk about running and swimming and all the stuff I did in the military and pull-up records and powerlifting and all these mental or all these physical feats. Some of the hardest shit I do in my life is just learning. But I got that self-discipline from waking up at three and four o'clock in the morning to go out in the cold weather to 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 you know get my run in, to get my lift in, to get my swim in, to do those things, it totally transfers over to my learning. It's that self-discipline you gain from feeling good about yourself by overcoming yourself on the physical aspect of life. And it transfers to your whole work ethic and everything you do comes from the physical aspect of life. I truly believe that. And the physical and the mental are all one. They are all tied into one, man. My biggest trophy is the fact that I overcame myself. I am the most proud. I, I literally can die right now on this podcast at 43 years old. I know the real truth about David Goggins. And uh, um, I had so many Mount Everest in front of me. And whenever I climb one, fucking another one would pop up. Another one would pop up. And then I fall down a couple of them. And there wasn't anybody there to say, hey, David, I'm going to help you up, man. It was just me and me alone and this voice in my head saying, we're not going to stop today. I am the most proud of the fucked up cards I got, the fucked up hand I got when I was born. And I'm so glad I got that hand because it taught me so much about the man I am today and what is possible for a human being. You don't need to have a great family. You don't need to be smart. If you have work ethic, and you are willing to outwork the motherfucker beside you, you can do absolutely whatever you want in life. And that is my biggest treasure that I have is, is what I have up here in my brain. What I found out, what I learned through this journey, man. Disciplined soldiers are the main ingredient in victory. Well, guess what the main ingredient in victory in your life is? Discipline. Yeah. All day. There's no magic formula or sweatless solution by which one can achieve their goals. I think he just said there is no, there is no shortcut. There is no hack. There's no sweatless solution. You, you're going to have to work. There is always weakness to work on. Always. A lot of them. You shouldn't allow yourself these easy excuses. We lie to ourselves. That's how it translates to us. We lie 
to ourselves. We don't tell ourselves the way things really are. And when we do that, then we can't fix our problems. If we can't fix our problems, we're not going to improve. So we have to be truthful to ourselves. I have to be truthful to myself. You have to be truthful to yourself. You have to stop rationalizing. Stop making excuses. Stop telling yourself little watered-down assessments of where you're really at. Tell yourself the truth so that you can get where you want to go. You can be who you want to be. You can be who you should be. should be when you do what you know you should do when you pay attention to the little things when you implement discipline true and unflinching and unmitigated discipline in your life when you stop when you stop trying to find a sweatless solution when you look for weaknesses to work on when you allow no easy excuses and all that starts when you stop lying to yourself. When you stop lying to yourself, that's when you can become who you know you should be. When you tell yourself the truth about where you are so you can make sure you are in the right place. And if you're not... on the path to get there the path of discipline the path of hard work and the path of truth there is a path there is a way and you know what that way is you know what you should be doing and it's hard to stay on that path because it is the path of discipline and discomfort, but it is the right path. And you know that. And it is that path that will ultimately lead.
you can live without regrets. I think a lot of times people are trying to find the path and they're looking all around different places and different people and different influences. But man, I think so often that path, you know what the path is and people know what they're supposed to be doing, but they just don't get on the path and stay on the path.